I just finished reading The Grapes of Wrath for English class. You actually read the book? Was the movie already rented? There's a movie? The Steinbeck dude is my new main man. He taught me we have to come together and help each other out. There's really a movie? Chris, here is your Mary Beth for President t-shirt. Why do I have to wear your t-shirt? Well, because I know things about you only an ex-girlfriend would know. Like your middle name's Leslie, and when you were five... I'll take the t-shirt. <laughs> What's the big deal? It's not like anybody ever runs against you. Why is that? As her campaign manager, let me field this question. Began in preschool. She was running for Milk Monitor against Carmine Zamboni. She beat him so bad, he had to change his name and transfer to a kindergarten on the West Coast. What? His name was Zamboni. I did the guy a favor. Now... As your president, my first act will be to start a new club called the Gold Card Girls. And what kind of club is that? It's open to everybody. Just as long as you're a girl, you have a gold card and we like you, right? Mary Beth, I heard you're getting rid of the Future Farmers Club. You can't do that. Now, don't overreact, Earl. I had to get rid of some of the older clubs to make way for some new ones. I didn't get rid of anything important. But you can't do that to Earl. The Future Farmers do a lot of important things, like... And... Earl, help me out here, man. We are the farmers of tomorrow. The same farmers that put food on your table. Where do you think you get your corn, your oats, your wheat? Oh, well, anybody who's anybody is on a wheat-free diet. <laughs> Can you believe her? Afraid so. It's like my daddy always says. Never turn your back on a politician looking for votes, a bull looking for romance, or blind Uncle Ned looking for a place to land the crop duster. <laughs> Now, there's a look. You always undress in the hallways? You could turn your back. So, how's life as a single jock? Well, it hasn't been easy. Hi, Chris. Did you get my note? Yes, Kimber, and make out his two words. <laughs> Told you. So many bimbos, so little time. Hey, Coach, what's with the fancy threads? Getting my tuxedo clean for a wedding on Saturday. So, who's your date? Yeah, you holding tryouts? Anybody make the final cut? Yeah, right. Like I would even consider letting you guys in on my love life. <laughs> Hi, Bill. Oh, Ms. Stevens, the political science teacher. Good choice. Smart, good listener. Speaks Russian. Yeah, those are the big three you look for in a woman. Here we go. The drama teacher, ex-Indiana Pacers cheerleader, and she lets the students call her by her first name, Desiree. Are you describing what Fuller likes or your own shallow view of women? You're calling me shallow? I didn't see you close your eyes when I took off my shirt. <laughs> you think you're pretty hot, don't you, Atwater? Well, Kimber seems to think I'm hot. Of course, she spelled it hoot. But... <laughs> uh-huh. See? He's walking my choice to class. You're dreaming. There's no way he's going to take her to the wedding over Desiree. I got ten bucks on Polly Sack. Over the Pacer Girl? You want to pay me now or pay me later? The election's four days away, people, and you're all invited to my victory party. Mary Beth, we've got a little trouble. I just came from the administration office and someone's running against you. <laughs> Are you kidding? Who is the fool that wants to walk directly into the Pepperton propeller? I'm Michael Maxwell, and I'm running for class president. Why? Because of what you did to Earl. Today, it was the future farmers of America. Tomorrow, it could be the redheads, or the tall people, or the athletically challenged. <laughs> so, you're slinging the mud already. Just taking the mud you gave us and slinging it back. What do you mean, we? I'm Michael's campaign manager. Looks like we're on different sides. Well, maybe it's best we put our little relationship on hold for the rest of this campaign. Maybe you're right. One parting kiss? Mm. You're dead meat, sweet pie. You're going down, cupcake. <laughs> Mary Beth, I'm going to beat you because I'm running on the issue. You're running on empty. Well, I'm about to run over you. Michael, I have two words for you. 
Carmine Zamboni. It's good to see so many of you are interested in the issues. And I'm overwhelmed by this fabulous turnout. Red, where's the turnout? Sorry, Mary Beth's playing hardball. She scheduled her rally for the same time. Good golly, is that now? Do you believe Mary Beth Skips is here? Pedicures and facials. I don't have a chance. Don't give up, Michael. Let Mary Beth try to buy votes. We're gonna win on the issues. Yeah, she's right. No one's gonna be swayed by a stupid little pedicure. I won the cruise! I won the cruise! Free cake! Get your free cake! Beat Michael Maxwell and get free cake. Better get started while they're still eating, Sam. I'd like to thank you all for coming. You have an important decision to make. You voters can swing to the side of good or be lured to the side of evil. <laughs> the future of Deering High is in your hands. Now, I'd like to introduce to you our future president, Michael Kennedy Maxwell. <laughs> Are you ready for a candidate who's one of you? Yes, sirree, Bob. Are you ready for some change? We sure are. And when I say change, I mean real change. Michael, that money doesn't belong to you. You said be a politician. I'll pay it back. Trust me. What else do the people want? I want a locker that doesn't smell like gold milk. You got it. Sam, swap lockers with him. Michael! 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 Memo to Mary Beth. We may be in trouble. Michael's starting to play your game. He's slick. He's underhanded. This kick is light and airy. <laughs> are so degrading. Not as degrading as losing. Michael's gaining in the polls. We've got to appeal to the common student. Joe Lunchbox, Betty Brown Bat. Okay, okay. I'm a common student. Gee, Mary Beth, what a nice outfit and only $9.99 off the rack. Huh? Yeah, and I got these shoes on sale at the $70 or less store. It's a $7 or less store. Well, anyway, vote for Mary Beth. So, Mary Beth, why don't you tell your fellow students and voters what you're doing this weekend? Well, first I'm fixing the transmission on my Nissan Sentra. <laughs> and if time allows, I'm going bowling. Okay, it's time for lunch. I know what the common girl wants. A lukewarm bean and almost natural cheese burrito. Oh, yum. There you have it, everyone. That's Mary Beth Pepperton, the people's president. She shops where you shop, wears what you wear, eats what you eat. <laughs> and gets sick like you get sick. Time. 20,000 people were doing our routine. A chicka boom. Hey, hey, chicka boom. Hey, hey. I do my best split ever, and then I hear the cheerleader's nightmare. Rip! Ooh, and I thought playing the game was rough. Fuller has the ball and is guarded closely by Desiree, and she's all over. Fuller tries a head fake, but she doesn't go for it. Now substituting for Desiree Hartford, Yolanda Stevens. Looks like they're bringing in the first team. Just give me the 10 bucks, Connor. Didn't you see the way he was looking at Chicka Boom? Yeah, but he just went off to have a conversation with Ms. Stevens. That's the difference. Women like to be talked to. You guys are just hung up on looks. No, we're not. You're always looking at my legs. Well, so? You've got nice legs. Thanks. But... I would be much more flattered if you looked into my eyes when we talked. You say you would, 
but you really wouldn't. I can't believe we're having this conversation. I thought you said women like conversation. Intelligent conversation. You know what your problem is, Chris? You don't have any clue. Is that a bunt cake? Well, this isn't just a bunt cake. This is my midterm bunt cake. I got an A in home ec. You cook? I bake. I didn't know that. Well, there's a lot about me you don't know. Here, taste. So what do you think? It's delicious. But you know what I really love? German chocolate cake. Could you bake me one of those? We'll talk about it. How are the numbers looking? I've counted every vote we have, and we're still down by seven. We can't win. Do you have these in six and a half? I'll go check. Hi, Michael. Sorry, girls. This store doesn't accept the gold card. <laughs> we're not here to shop. We're here to deal. We can't trust Mary Beth anymore. She's turned. <laughs> she actually bought off the rack and is going bowling. Now, do you want to win this election? Of course I want to win. Then all you have to do is promise to fund our club. But if I do that, I have to get rid of the Future Farmers Club. And the problem with that would be? I'd be selling out my friend Earl. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you just said you wanted to win this election. And with our votes, you will. Think about it. Welcome to the candidates debate. I'm Coach Fuller, and it's an honor and a privilege to be your moderator. Even though they made me do this because I'm the new guy. If she accuses you of anything, just say, I know you are, but what am I? If he attacks your character, just say, same to you and more of it. If the candidates are ready. <laughs> let's debate. You all know who I am, so I'm not going to stand up here and give you a long list of all of my accomplishments. I don't want to mention that I'm the one who got the magnifying mirrors in the girls' room. Like we really want to see our zits that be. <laughs> and I don't want to bring up that I'm the one who got conference calling in the lunchroom payphones. Conference calling? How many of you want to be yelled at by your mother and the principal at the same time? <laughs> and who got you four-ply toilet paper? Uh, you got that? Thanks. The truth is, my opponent is simply unqualified to be president. He's a jock. He throws a rubber ball into a stupid hoop. Big whoop. She's a cheerleader. All she ever does is swing a pom-pom and spell out difficult words like, go. Oh, you're a serious doofus. You stuff your bra. This man has no butt. Time out. Can we have a sidebar? Okay, since you're his campaign manager, I guess we have to invite you to Michael's victory party. You are giving Michael a victory party? Well, it's the least we can do after he accepted our deal. What deal? We're going to move on to the question and answer period. Hey, Michael? I don't have a question. I just want to let you know that the Future Farmers Club adopted a cow, and we named it after you. You don't have to do that. But you saved our club. You're a hero. I'm not sure hero's exactly the right word. Don't be modest now, Michael. Tell us how you're going to help the little guys. You know, the common man. All right. I have something to say. The gold card girls promised to give me their votes if I kept their club and cut Earl's. I said yes. What? I wouldn't name a cow after me. I wouldn't even vote for me. And neither should any of you. Go ahead. 
Take your best shot. I'm proud of you, Michael. Proud of me? I just shafted you, man. Well, at first. But then you realized what was right, and you came back to your principles. Sorry I let you down, Sam. You would have let me down if you would have gone ahead with it. Took a lot of guts to do what you did in front of the whole school. Attention, students. The results of the election are in. Mary Beth Pepperton, 210 votes. Michael Maxwell, 225. Congratulations to President Michael Maxwell. You won? I demand a recount. <laughs> Congratulations, Michael. <laughs> Pretty smart, Maxwell. In fact, a brilliant political ploy. What are you talking about? The way you state that selling out Earl confession to get the sympathy vote. Nice. Wait a second. You think I staged all that? I got in this election to help people. And wound up selling out Earl. And I'm ashamed of that and a lot of other things I did this week. If that's what politics are about, I'm through with it. You can be president, Mary Beth. Yes! No. There are a few things I'm not exactly proud of either. I sold out Earl, too. I didn't even give it a thought. Then my girlfriend sold me out. I knew exactly how he felt. I'm sorry, Earl. So you're not taking the presidency either? Are you nuts? I was born to rule. <laughs> Except this time I'm going to rule better. I'm going to be the people's president. The kind of president Tom Joad would be proud of. You read Grapes of Wrath, too? No, I rented the movie, silly. <laughs> A good campaign. Well fought, professional, nicely managed. Meet you under the bleachers in ten minutes? How about right now? Now is good. I don't know if we should be sneaking into Fuller's office like this. Come on, don't be such a wuss. How else are we gonna find out who he's taken to the wedding? Quick, let's look for some clues. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at Fuller. Fuller? I thought that was Tito Jackson. That's Fuller. <laughs> Let's stop by my office. I need to get my keys. I made reservations at Shea Reggae. Oh, I hear that place is very popular. You know, I still can't decide what to wear for tomorrow night's wedding. I'm sure anything you wear will look just great. Let's go eat. Wow. Did you see that? Sure did. Easiest ten bucks I ever made. Like I said, Atwater, you're clueless. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what Fuller likes in women. But I know what I like. Okay. What do you like? And I'm talking about real women, not the girls on Baywatch. <laughs> they should be smart, athletic, easy to talk to. Blonde's good. Someday, maybe you'll find someone like that. Maybe. So what do you like in a guy? Nice sense of humor. Uh, a good smile. Someone who can bake.